Hey guys, my name is Elusive. Today we're going to be talking about the Korean archery changes in 6.2. Um, before we start the video, I just want to give credits to the gameplay. It is not mine. I'll be linking the video down in the description. Um, I just wanted to have some Korean archery PvP for, to show you guys. And uh, I don't have the cure in Korea to do that. Or the ping. So, I'm going to link it to the video. Go show that video some love. It's a really nice gameplay video. Um... But anyway, so you're probably thinking, why are we talking about 6.2 when archery or not archery arc agent chain is going to be in 6.0? Now, the reason why is that we're talking about this so far ahead of time is that 6.2 archers are going to get a huge buff, um, and they're going to be really strong. Now, in 6.0, I think they're going to be pretty strong as well. But in 6.2, they're going to get even stronger. In 6.1, they get a tiny buff with the uh, defense pin necklace from the dungeon, uh, but that's really like melees and archers. That's not specifically towards them. In 6.2, they get a buff strictly towards them. Um, and so if you're debating whether you can, you want to go archer or not, if you like these changes and you think you really do want to go archer, I honestly believe you should. It is a really fun class in my opinion. I love going archery. I did it in alpha 1.1, 1.2, and um, did it again in 4.5 fresh start. And archery is something that I love. So seeing it get its buff and going to be a lot more useful now is amazing. Um, I'm hoping this video can help you out, the people that are having trouble deciding on that last like little, that last little bit if you wanna go archery. If you're worried about they're gonna be weak, I can guarantee you with this buff, they are not going to be weak. So, I'm going to have the changes up here somewhere on the screen. Uh, but the first change is that Missile Rain is either adding or redoing a current uh, Ancestral skill. Um, it is Missile Rain Flam. I don't know which one that is because it is translated from Korea. So, I don't know if it's named the same. So, I don't know which one that technically is. Or they could be adding a new one. I don't know. Uh, but whatever it is, is that the longer the skill is cast, the faster the air is fire. So if that is what I'm thinking it is, and I'm thinking it's the uh, cone, uh, the missile rain that shoots into a cone that you see pretty much all archers use, um, that's going to be really huge due to the fact that the faster or the longer you cast that, the faster it fires. Uh, so that's going to be huge. Um, I don't know if that's, like I said, I don't know if that's going to be a new Ars Ancestral or if they're redoing that or adding it to another one, like, like the cone one. So we're going to see what that as, um, time comes. But then the next one is Endless Arrows Stone. Now, I think that's the other Endless Arrows Ancestral, the one that's not the flame Endless Arrows. Um, and I think it's getting a rework or they're adding a new one. Like I said, these are translated, so I have no idea, like, the actual, like, fine details. Uh, but the Endless Arrows uh, Ancestral now adds, or Endless Arrow Stones, makes it where the Endless Arrows bounces up to four times to an enemy target within five meters of the target, inflicting the same damage. So that's going to be huge against uh, mages in Raid versus Raid, because usually with the Mage Ball, you're going to have people just run through with mages grouping up, you know, pulling people in and just casting tons of AoE. So being able to do AoE yourself, sort of AoE, is going to be huge. Attacking, essentially attacking four people at the same time. Um, so that I still think Flame Endless Arrows is going to be better for plate wares. Unless you have, or against plate wares, unless you have a lot of defense pin. If you have a lot of defense pin going to be huge um that you can take down just multiple people multiple people at the same time because it is inflicting the same damage now i have no idea but if it does inflict crit like if one crits and then the all the others crit all four of them crit as well then that's going to be even better or each one has its own like crit chance so we're going to see about that like it said it's all, or the fine, fine details are kind of up in the air right now. Um, but then the next one is Conk Arrow. Added area damage dealt to knocked enemy targets. Now, that one I'm not too sure on. So if you guys know about that, leave it in the comments. Um, 
I'll be sure to pin it. I'm not too sure about that one. That one I'm kind of confused on. Um, and then the next one, steady shooting. When the effect is activated, you are immune to the pulling effect. And range increase, increase to one meter every one second when activated, up to 20 meters. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a new skill or if it's gonna be a, or added to Deadeye, which I think that's what steady shooting is in Korea or that's what the translated version is. Um, I don't know exactly what they're gonna add that or what that's going to be, but archers are gonna have that now. And that's going to be huge. Having that increased range is going to be huge, especially 20 meters. Now, if that's on Deadeye, Deadeye, Deadeye is already getting a rework where instead of getting increased range damage, you're getting increased defense pin. Now, in my archery video, um, my archery guide, I might have been wrong about the Deadeye buff. The Deadeye buff, I've heard it's 1k defense pin, but another one or a couple people are saying that in the patch notes, it's 3500 defense pin, which if it's 3500, that's going to be insane especially if it's going to add increased range every second up to 20 meters you can literally just stand in the back and snipe and that's going to be huge um and you are also immune to the pulling effect so you can't get lassoed um you can't get vicious implosed or um, you can't get hit by it so that's it, it's gonna be really big so that i might have more defense pin um uh but that's about it guys i just wanted to do a quick video on the archery changes that are coming in 6.2 now i really think if you are wanting to do archery but if you're worried if it's going to be weak do archery it might be a little bit weaker in 6.0 6.1 um and you're going to struggle a little bit um uh dear like you're going to struggle a little bit uh compared to melees but once you start gearing and if you stick with it you're going to get the gear you're going to be good in 6.0 as well as in 6.2 you're going to dominate having that gear already instead of the people that are wanting to re-roll or wish they went archer so yes it's not going to be the best best class on 6.0 i still think they're going to be strong they have their place but in 6.2 they're going to be really really good and I think it's worth sticking to it and getting that gear early on so you're already getting that or you already have that gear when the buffs come. Um, other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you did like the video, like it. If you guys have any questions or if you have any more information to add, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'd love to read it. Um, and if you like the content that I'm putting out or you want to see more Arcage and Chain content, I'm going to be putting out a lot more. Um, so hit that subscribe button hit the little bell so you know whenever i upload but other than that guys again thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have a great day